Hi, my name is Victor from Divimundo.com and in this tutorial I will share my favorite tricks to copy and paste plain, clean, unformatted text in WordPress. And we will have a look at some different editors and page builders like the Classic Editor, Divi, Elementor, Beaver Builder, etc. And we will also look into the Gutenberg Block Editor. Let's go! All the resources needed can be found in this blog post on divimundo.com. If you are watching this on YouTube, you'll find the link in the description below the video. So in this tutorial, I will use the Divi Builder, but the workflow is the same if you use Elementor, the Classic Editor, Beaver Builder, WP Bakery, etc. It's slightly different if you use Gutenberg Block Editor, and I will cover that later in this video. So I'll start by copying some text from the eBay website with some different formatting as you can see and now I will just paste this into my editor replacing the text and you can see that I got a lot of styling and formatting imported here in my design and it doesn't look too good at all if I check out the source code here you can see that it's cluttered with different classes and div tags and stuff that's absolutely not necessary. This will slow down my website, it will mess up the design and it will take lots of time to clean. So let's just remove this and I will show you the first trick to actually paste this without any formatting issues. The first method that I, that I prefer that's to click this little icon here paste as text and the first time you do that uh, you will have this little box covering the editor saying that paste is now in plain text mode. Contents will now be pasted as plain text until you toggle this option off. So I will close that one. And now if I paste the text, you can see that it's clean. And if I go to the HTML mode here, I can see that there are no div tags or classes or other cluttered code. If I want to activate paste as text again, I have to click it and then I have this annoying box and I have to close it and then I can paste plain text again. So this might not be the perfect solution, but it's one way to do it. Also, I can mention that in some editors, you might not see this paste as text icon from start. So for example, if I close this one and I click edit page to use the DV backend editor, you can see this icon toolbar toggle that it's expanded but sometimes when you start creating your website it will look like this so you just have a few options here and now the paste as text icon is hidden so now you have to figure out that this little toolbar toggle here will expand the menu or the toolbar and now you can click the paste as text icon so there are a few steps to do this the second method that might be a little bit easier, that is to toggle to the text editor. So the naming is a little bit confusing here. Text means actually code or plain text or just HTML. If you paste something here, it will always be plain text. So here you can write HTML code like, for example, a href link. Close that one and we have an end tag there. Now. If we have a look, we can see that we have a link there. If I click the visual tab, you will see how it looks in front end. So you will not see the code here. You will only see the styling. So that's the second trick is to click the text tab. Make sure that that's active and just paste all the content into this HTML box or, or text box. And uh, then you can toggle over to the visual tab and you can start styling it with your different options. Okay, so the third trick that is to use keyboard shortcuts and they are actually a bit complicated so I have to check out my blog post just to remember it. So if I have copied a text using command C on Mac or control C on PC, I can then paste the content as plain text holding option shift command V on Mac or control shift V on PC. So you have to have quite flexible fingers, like piano fingers, to manage this. But I'll try. So let's see, I have the option button, the shift button, the command button. Yeah, I probably have to use both my hands for this, but I'll try it out. So I'll head back to my website and I'll make sure that the paste as text option is not selected. 
and I'll delete this. And now I'm holding the, I'm using a Mac, so I'm holding the shift, the option key and the command key, and then I press V. Yeah, that worked. I pasted it as regular text, no code here. But this is a little bit tricky. It's hard to remember all these keys. And as I said, you have to use two hands, at least on Mac. So there's another way to do it. And that's to right click in the editor and choose paste and match style. And this could be called different things in different browsers or, or different OSs. So it could also be paste as plain text or something similar. But if I click this one, the content will be pasted without any formatting. So that's also a nice trick that might take a little bit longer than using the short command, but you will give your fingers a rest. But what about having this as a default setting? So the opposite to now where the default is paste formatted text, you would have paste plain text by default. Well, there's actually a plugin for that and I will show you how to use it. So I'll go to my plugins in WordPress and I'll, I will click add a new. And from there I will search for paste as plain text by default. And there we have it. So this plugin does exactly what it's called. And this works fine with the, the classic editor, Divi, Elementor, Beaver Builder, WP Bakery, WP UF, and, and other editors. However, it will not have any effect if you use the Gutenberg block editor. So if you, for example, use the Gutenberg editor in posts and Divi or the classic editor or Elementor on pages, you will have paste as plain text activated by default on your pages, but not in your posts. So let's try it out by installing it. And this is an extremely lightweight plugin, so it will not affect your page speed at all. There we go. And as you can see, there are no settings here. So just activate it to enable paste as plain text by default. Let's see if this works. I'll go to my pages and let's find the about page again. Okay, so now I could actually just paste this text directly in front end, and you can see that there is no styling. I could of course also open the editor and you can see that the paste as text icon now is activated by default and I can paste clean unformatted text. And if you would like to turn off the paste as plain text mode just for one time or for a specific element, you can just click this icon and you have deactivated it. And now if I paste something, you will get all the code. Okay, what about the Gutenberg block editor, the default WordPress editor? Well, that's a little bit more complicated. The plugin will not apply for this specific editor, so you have to go with some other tricks. There are no native option in Gutenberg to enable paste as text, which I think is a little bit odd, but that's how it's made. So I'll add a new block by clicking the plus sign and I'll choose a paragraph block, that's a text block. And as you can see, there are no real options here. So what I have to do is that I have to type at least three characters, A, B, C. And now you see that I have a toolbar. I'm not really sure why this is not visible from the beginning. Now I have those three dots here, that's options. So now I can switch to edit as HTML. So now I have to paste this text between those tags, because if I would just paste the text like this, overwriting the tags, you will notice that when I go back to the visual mode here, you can see that, oops, this block contains unexpected or invalid content attempt to block recovery. So this is also really strange that the editor just can't grasp that I of course want a start and ending tag in this block, but yeah, that's how it works. Okay, so let's be really careful and keep the start and ending tag here. So I'll just mark, select the text and now I'll paste it. And now I'll click the dots again and I say that I want to edit visually. And there we go, we have this clean text without formatting, but mm, kind of a hassle. Another option here, okay, I want to paste this text, but I don't want the workaround like writing A, B, C or, or so. I just want to paste plain text here. So one option is to right click here in the block and choose paste and match style. That's a little bit quicker, even though it has a slightly different styling than the first one that I pasted in the HTML mode. So here's, there are no line breaks, but here we have line breaks. So let's see here in the code. 
Yeah, it actually inserted lots of BR tags when using this in um, Gutenberg. So that's also a bit strange because I choose to paste without any formatting, but I still got some formatting. Okay, another option here is to use the keyboard short commands that we used earlier in the tutorial. So let's see if I can remember it. I think it was shift, option, command, and V on my Mac. And there we have it, but we still have the BR tags there. So if you like to copy and paste plain text, I would say that Gutenberg is maybe not the most user-friendly editor. That's all for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming your way. Thanks for watching.